The following presentation contains scenes of a tropical nature and irresponsible use of over-the-counter medication. Remember, coconuts are not toys. So here I am on beautiful Condor Island. There is nothing important. I beg to differ, Hopkins, and I'm really sorry to hear that you're so environmentally unconscious. Its claws are impressive. Now that I agree with. That is one beautiful crab. There is nothing important. Which, of course, in Hopkins speak, means it's really important. Move the shell, and you find some gold coins underneath it. Of course. They're gold coins. Well, those should come in handy. sand is wet. Stellar detective work once again. Let's uh, explore the rest of the island. This place is really touristy. I don't think it was really necessary to parachute me in here. They're playing a game of poker. They're playing a game of 421. All right. That's apparently a dice game. She's wearing very light clothing. Oh boy. Let's try and talk to her before she walks off screen. Your dress is fantastic. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Ew. What do you know about this island? Oh, it's paradise. What do you know about the factory? <laughs> I don't know anything about the factory. I'm not really supposed to know anything about the factory either. I have to go. That's just something you're gonna discover as I talk to more people and explore the island. So, are you on vacation? Yes. This is the fifth year I have come from Paris to this island. Oh, from Paris! I love the climate and the hospitality <laughs> of the natives. What do you know about the island? Oh, this place is heavenly. But uh, since the factory was built, uh, the spell has been a little broken. So I guess this is where I'm supposed to find out about the factory. So uh, what do you know about the factory? I don't know many things about the factory. I think it's very tightly guarded. But when was the factory built? Oh, Two years ago, or three, uh, I don't remember exactly. I have to go. Yeah, you had one more dialogue option I accidentally skipped out on. What do you know about... <laughs> what do they manufacture primarily, you know? Oh, they make fishing products. Oh, well, that's what everyone's gonna be telling me, so I... I have to go. Really shouldn't have bothered with that dialogue option. But there's Mind something I else I want to talk about. We play 421. If you bet twenty-five dollars, you can win seventy-five. Well, I don't I have, have to go. actual money, though I do have these gold coins. Maybe they'll accept those. Okay, we'll take your money. Throw the dice. Ah, another breathtaking 3D animation. You win seventy-five dollars, lucky guy. Yeah, I win seventy-five dollars only to give me a seventy-dollar note. I don't see anything important. 
Pretty sure they just drew on a piece of paper with a marker and gave it to Hopkins in exchange for his gold coins. They contain alcohol. It's delicious. Drinking from other people's glasses, Hopkins? Really? He fell asleep on the table. Bum. I can't stand his foul breath. She's having a drink. Do you work in the factory? <laughs> no, I don't work in the factory. I'm a native of this island. What do you think about the factory? Oh, it's a taboo subject. <laughs> it seems that strange things are done there. Okay. Strange things? Some people say that chemical products are made in the factory. Taboo? Mm, the people who were against the factory being built here have mysteriously disappeared. How strange. Can you tell me more about that? <laughs> I'm a little drunk. Forget what I said. Already have. I have to go. One more topic she can talk about. What do you think about the tourists? I hate the tourists. They disgust me. Okay. I have to go. Yeah, I really do think we have to go. Let's talk to the bartender instead. Maybe he's not nuts. Hey, how about buying me a drink? Sorry, but that is not customary here. I don't think that's customary what anywhere. About the factory? The factory is a good thing for the shopkeepers of our island. What do you think about the tourists? We have never succeeded in attracting tourists to our island. Well, I've seen quite a few actually, but... I have to go. Whatever, catch you later, Isaac. photograph of the beach. Really? Can't really see it, but let's check out some of the other huts. Oh, it's a dry cleaners. It's full of dirty linen. There is nothing important. On any of those jackets? What's your job? I own this place. Our prices are ever so cheap. Ah, uh, stereotypes. What do you know about the factory? It's great for our island. The factory is my best customer. What do you think about the tourists? Maybe. <laughs> There are very few tourists Baby. on our island. I don't know why. Why is Hopkins coming on to this gay dry cleaner? Should I ask? It's a fish. Okay. Here's an item you're very likely to miss a couple of times. Since it completely blends into the background. Someone put a shovel against this fence. One more shop to check out. He's the owner of the shop. Alright. Welcome to my shop. We've got all your fishing and hunting needs. Right hey, voice actor, could you maybe not put an enormous pause into your sentence? No? Well, then we'll just use the take we have. It's a bear's head. It cost a thousand dollars. It's a fishing rod. It cost seventy dollars. Well, I have a piece of paper that says exactly that amount of money, so... Let's see how stupid this guy is. Ah. Good choice. This is a high-quality fishing rod. Right, excellent. He's even stupider than Hopkins. Let's get out of here before he shoots us. She 
she's signaling to one of the tourists. She can't hear me. Ah, of course, she's much too far away. This must be the factory. Let's see if we can get in. The factory entrance is very well guarded. Hopkins, FBI, let me in. Sorry, but the factory access is restricted. Aren't you supposed to keep kind of a low profile? They make fishing items. I have to go. He has a submachine gun. Yeah, that's kind of strange. But I work in this factory. Okay, let me see your badge. Well, I have to go. Looks like I'll have to get a badge to get into this factory. He looks fierce. We have a dog here and a cat. He doesn't look very fierce. This smells like a puzzle. But I don't have any items to use on them right now. It's an oil puddle. Let's talk to this bird guy. He's smoking a cigarette. I think he's a worker from the factory. Hey, do you work in this factory? Yeah, I work in this factory. All right, thanks for answering my question. What does this factory produce? We make fishing items. How come there's so many guards in front of the factory? We're afraid of industrial espionage. I have to go. All right, since that guy works in the factory, he probably has a badge. Now I just need to figure out a way to get it from him. First, let's do some fishing. Well, I have a fishing rod, but I don't have any bait. So I'll have to get that first. The hotspot for getting to the pier and getting to the beach are really close together, so I'm struggling a bit here. Right, let's dig around in the sand. See if we can find something. There's nothing here. Of course, Hopkins FBI loves pointless busy work, so you actually have to click the shovel in the same place three times before you actually find something. There's nothing here. Try again. I found an earthworm. I think I take issue with finding an earthworm in a sandy beach, but, but looking at that, I think Hopkins just found a buried human turd. I put the earthworm on the hook. Let's put it on our fishing rod anyway. This bird's eating a fish. Well, if a pelican can do it, so can you, Hopkins. Fantastic! I've caught a fish! Well, that was pretty easy. Incredible machine. 
Not sure what that achieved, but this guy walks off screen. But this guy walks off screen, so let's follow him. He's gone into the bar. He's the employee who fell into an oil puddle. And he's wearing a different jacket now. It's a receipt from the laundry. Let's grab it. It's much too risky. No, it's not. Nobody's watching. Do you work in the factory? Yeah. I conduct research, which I cannot discuss. How about buying me a drink? Sorry, but I have no money. Another time, my friend. And how are you paying for your own drink? Hey, what are you doing here? I fell in an oil puddle. I had to take my jacket to the cleaners. It's probably ready by now. No, I'm gonna need that jacket. I have to go. So I'm gonna have to get that receipt from him somehow. It belongs to the man dressed in red. He's dressed in brown, but... Uh... Let's put some sleeping pills in his glass. By the way, this is the first time you actually have to use these sleeping pills. If you hadn't picked it's them up in glass. Uh, Samantha's bathroom, you would be fucked at this point. I've put sleeping pills in his glass. Because there's no way to go back to the city. <sighs> and as far as I found out, there's no alternate solutions for this puzzle. He's the employee who fell into an oil puddle. Thanks a lot, Hopkins FBI. All right. It's a receipt from the laundry. Let's go retrieve his jacket then. Hey baby, take a look at this. Here is your jacket. Thanks ever so much. All right. Let's search the jacket. I found a card. Yeah, that's a badge, all right. It's the factory employee's card. It's more like a. It's more like a policeman's shield. Well, as long as it gets us into the factory, I guess I won't complain much. Check this out. Okay, you can go. And so we get into the factory. Or at least we will in the next video. I have to go.